So good day. Today we're going to talk about something really dirty. Dirty sensors and how to clean them. Might be a bit scary if you've never done it. It's actually pretty easy. So I'm going to show you with a few different sensors in my Fuji films. I'm going to start with my X-H1. I'm going to do, <laughs> do the first one with this camera because it's dead. It fell in a creek without a lens on the front. Fried instantly. It's, uh, it's cactus. However, it does have a dirty sensor in it. So we're going to give that a clean just to show you what it's like. Then I'll move on. I'll clean two others in my working cameras. You'll be able to see how quick and easy cleaning your sensor can be. So first off use a blower to blow any loose dust off the sensor. Most of the stuff on my sensor is uh, water residue from when it fell in the creek. So <laughs> there's not a lot of dust on there. Now we have to wipe the thing. Now if you're lucky enough to have a camera store near you, you can just go there and buy a sensor kit. But uh, a lot of people just get them online. Generally get them in packs of 10 or 20 with the sensor wipers and some cleaning fluid. So you get the bottle of cleaning fluid and the swipe cleaning swab. I don't think brands really matter or where you get them from. This particular brand was sold all over the internet in different places for about the same price in every place except they all charged about $10 postage on top of the fee until I got to a certain very expensive camera manufacturer's website. I won't give you the name but it's a bit like a expensive German brand <laughs> and they were selling the same kit for the same price as everyone else but not charging postage. So you open up the kit and there's the swab. This one is made in particular for the APS-C width sensor. Now you only really need a drop on the end of that swab and it's one wipe across and a wipe back and you end up with a nice clean sensor. A change from uh, how this started full of water drops totally unusable so perfectly clean sensor. Now here I have my Fujifilm XE2 and this one's a bit different it's got an infrared sensor uh, replaced into the camera so it's a straight infrared camera but the same principle applies even though it's not the original sensor it's an infrared one. One drop on the end of your swab, wipe one way, wipe the other. Get the blower first, get rid of any loose dust, wipe one way, wipe back the other. and beautifully clean sensor there. Here we go with my XC1. You can see a bit of dust on the sensor anyway. So again the blower. One drop on the end of your swab. Wipe one way. Wipe back. There you go. Another one done. If your camera has IBIS in it, like the Fujifilm X-H1, the X-T4, the X-S10, you have to turn your camera on, go into settings, turn IBIS off, it locks the sensor solid, leave the camera on, clean the sensor. If your camera doesn't have IBIS, like the X-E series and the X-T3 down, you turn your camera off, clean the sensor. So there you go, not a hard job doesn't take long at all and buying a sensor kit doesn't cost a lot so if you like that video click like subscribe if you haven't already you can even buy me a coffee www.buymeacoffee.com slash greg carrick 
But whatever you do, whatever camera you got, pick it up, take it for a walk and have some fun. Bye.